Jimmy song on here was recorded in Atlanta by Ralph Peel. Wow. Okay. So, so we're out here today bringing attention to the first recording studio in the South. So it was here in 1923 that OK Records, which was based in New York, came to the South for the very first time with their portable recording equipment, which had just been invented, to record blues, jazz, and gospel artists. While they were here, they also recorded Fiddle and John Carson, and his record is credited as being the first country music hit. Um, they also recorded the Morehouse College Quartet, which is still in existence today. You can still get their albums and still hear them in concert. Obviously, it's, it's a different quartet of people, uh, but that institution, that uh, legacy still carries on today. And then Fiddle and John Carson was the sort of odd person out that uh, up until this time, there had never been a commercial hit record. There had been a couple released as sort of novelty songs, uh, but none had been recorded in the South, and none of them had involved both uh, playing an instrument and vocals. So this was very revolutionary at its time, and it was an unexpected success. But because of the success of that record, we had the country music industry that we know today. This was the spot that they wanted to put in a restaurant. Um, over the years, that small restaurant has morphed into a 21-story hotel and timeshare which would take out this building and the adjacent parking lot. Uh, this building would become the dumpster area as well as the grease traps. So all the grease off the cheeseburgers in paradise would end up uh, where this building now stands. So what I've done is I launched an online petition which so far has about 8,000 signatures. The actual physical building is being something that um, it's, it represents that past. It's something that people can come to and almost like imagine these, this brick building and what was recorded inside this brick building almost a century ago. And you could possibly put a museum there or you know all these things you could do with the building as sort of a, a place where people could really touch the past. Um, I think it like immersive experience. It yes. seems like a missed opportunity really to, to lose a space like this because they don't come around that often. This is the first country music hit record recorded here at 152 Nassau Street in June 1923. And we actually have a vintage 1923 portable Victrola that we can play it on. And it's already cranked, so I just need to release the brake and get it in place over here. We still have these physical artifacts and can learn from them. We also have the physical structure. That we, we still have so many lessons to learn um, from this building and what happened in it. Oh, I'm getting old and feeble and I cannot work no more. I lost this place and hold my place to rest. Oh, Martin's man, oh, man.